Never miss an important email again. I'm going to show you how to do that using the zero inbox email management method. That's pretty easy. These three steps are pulled from just any other to do list or project management uh, scenario where you do you delegate or you defer the three D's. So either take care of the email, respond right away, delegate it to somebody else. Hey, do you mind taking care of this for me? Or, Hey, can you send this off? Whatever. Um, or defer and deferring is, Hey, I'm going to put it somewhere where I'm going to check on it later. Maybe I tag it. Different email programs allow you to, um, re be reminded of that email, or you can just set up a reminder yourself to go check your deferral mailbox, you know, every week or every month or however often you need to do that. I know for some of you getting there is a big task. You probably have thousands of emails in the inbox. And by the way, if you're using Apple mail or outlook and you see that number, that's not how many emails you have. It's the number of unread emails you have. That's a lot of potential, uh, missed emails. I know that we're dealing with a lot of spam and a lot of issues that, um, pop up in your inbox that just are a waste of time. So I'm going to talk about a few methods to get rid of those as well. One, it's just unsubscribe to things. If you haven't been to Kohl's in months or years and you don't care about those uh, coupons anymore, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe for anything you don't need. Um, if you are a little more advanced, you can set up email filters to you know, mark things as red that you kind of want to keep, but you don't want to see them all the time. You just mark it as red and put it in a folder. Uh, if you have questions about how to do that, reach out. We'll let you know uh, how to set that up. Um, I set up an, an archiving shortcut button on my Mac and there's also one on the iPad and some mail programs have just a swipe where you can archive. That's how I manage my email inbox is archiving everything. Don't worry too much these days about space. You don't really need to worry too much about running out of space. If you're using Gmail or, um, another professional email platform, you're usually going to be fine with, uh, the storage you're going to have plenty of space, plenty of storage as far as that goes. So, um, let me jump in. I'm actually going to do a live demo here. So I'm going to jump over to my email inbox. And, uh, as you can see, I've just gotten a couple of emails even since we started. So, um, I'm just going to take a look and I've got my archive button. I have it set up to the left button here. So I just press the left button and it's going to get archived. Um, tech data deal of the week. Uh, you know what? I don't really need to know the deal of the week. I'm going to click unsubscribe and you can see it pops up my email and it tells me to unsubscribe from that mailing list. Okay. The email is still going to stay there in case you want to read it, or we can just go ahead and archive it. Um, there's my summary for the week noted. I don't need that anymore. Um, this looks like spam here, so I'm just going to delete it. Now, of course, you have the delete button up here that's an actual trash can. Instead of archiving, you can delete it and it'll get dumped in 30 days. So I'm going to press that. Okay, great. Um, another email. I want to keep that, so I'm just going to archive it for now. These I've already read. Um, so I could come up here and say, hey, uh, I'm going to forward this to Brian and just say FYI and forward that. So that's just kind of an example of how to delegate. Hey, Brian, take a look at this. It might be important to you. Um, now, now that I've handled it, I'm going to archive it. Now, um, this is my Asana list. I need to do a few things. Maybe I do that right away and take care of it. And then I archive it when I'm done. Um, this is a message saying, great. We had a customer with a successful backup last night. Awesome. Um, I don't need to worry about that. So that's done. I'm going to press my archive button and here we go with some more sub, uh, spam. I'm going to click unsubscribe. And now I'm down to that, uh, beautiful zero messages in my inbox. So if you do this method every couple of hours throughout the day, you'll stay on top of your email. You'll never miss a thing. And then as you go through and deal with the unsubscribing, I threw a few in there as examples, but I don't get a ton of spam now that I'm constantly unsubscribing to emails that I just don't care about. So, um, set up those filters, 
Like I said before, if you have a question, leave a comment below. We'll show you how to do it. Uh, I can make another video and show you how to do an actual email filter in Gmail or in, in Outlook or whatever email you have. Um, and then set up that archive button. I think the shortcut to the archive button is important for me. It's one of the first things I do when I set up a new Mac for myself is I get my email archive button set up. That way you can just press a button, you know, you note the email, get rid of it, respond to the email or whatever uh, you need to do. So remember, do respond to the email right away, delegate it to somebody else or defer it. Um, again, I won't go into that, but there are ways with other uh, email programs to defer an email and say, you know what, remind me tomorrow about that email because I, I need to remember that. So uh, there's a couple web interfaces with Google and, and such that will allow you to do that. Um, let us know what you use for your email method. If you just leave all emails unread and don't care, do you do zero inbox like I do? Uh, what works for you? Leave that in the comments below. Let us know the methods that you've tried and how that worked out for you. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Hopefully it's, it's helpful to you, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.